48 Sports UFC's clinch tutorial. Let's focus on offense. Approach your opponent and flick the right stick towards them to initiate the clinch. Then go to work. You can attack from the clinch position in two different ways, striking and takedowns. Body locks or back clinches do the most damaging takedowns, and the tie clinch the most damaging strikes. Once in the clinch, you can get to these various positions by using the right stick. Pushing right and swooping counterclockwise with the right stick will perform one transition. Pushing left and swooping clockwise with the right stick will perform another transition. That's a great Muay Thai plum clinch. Modify your strikes in the tie clinch to get the best effect. X and circle will attack the legs. L2 button plus X and circle will target knees to the body. Pressing X or circle while holding the left stick away from the opponent targets knees to their head. You can also use the clinch to initiate takedowns. Takedowns are performed using the L2 button and the right stick. Holding the L2 button while pushing left and swooping clockwise with the right stick will perform one takedown. Holding the L2 button while pushing right and swooping counterclockwise with the right stick will perform a different takedown. Hold the L1 button during these moves and you'll get a power takedown that does more damage. Those are the basics, but make sure to experiment with different positions, strikes, and takedowns to find a fighting style that works best for you. Welcome to EA Sports UFC's clinch tutorial. Let's focus on defense. The best way to avoid taking damage in a clinch is by denying your opponent the clinch in the first place. When your opponent tries to tie you up in the clinch position, deny them by holding the R2 button and pushing up on the right stick. If you miss your clinch denial and get engaged in the clinch, you can try and separate from your opponent by clicking the left stick to push them away. If your opponent manages to hang on, block their strikes in the clinch by holding the R2 button. Blocking a strike will also open up an opportunity to improve your position or break the clinch. You can also stop them from transitioning to different clinch positions by holding the R2 button and moving the right stick to either the left or the right. Welcome to EA Sports UFC's ground tutorial. Let's focus on offense. When you find yourself in a dominant position on the ground, you can attack your opponent by using each of the face buttons. And just like with stand-up, you can modify your attacks with the L1 button, the R1 button, or the L2 button to get different effects. To cause even more damage, posture up by pushing up on the left stick, creating more distance between you and your opponent and allowing your strikes to pack more power. You can transition to different positions by using the right stick. Pushing right and swooping counterclockwise with the right stick will perform one transition. Pushing left and swooping clockwise with the right stick will perform another transition. Transitioning to different positions will allow you to land different types of strikes or initiate different kinds of submissions. To initiate a submission attempt, hold the R1 button and push the right stick left, right, up or down to initiate different submissions. Once a direction and submission are chosen, swoop the right stick in either direction to lock it in. Depending on the ground position and the fighter you are playing with, different submissions will be available to you. So experiment and find what works. Remember, always be aware of your stamina as it directly affects the effectiveness of your transitions, submission attempts, and ground impact. Welcome to EA Sports UFC's ground tutorial. Let's focus on defense. On the ground, your defense once again begins with the R2 button. Holding the R2 button will block strikes. Blocking a strike successfully opens up a window to transition or get up. To defend your opponent's transitions, hold the R2 button and push left or right with the right stick. To defend your opponent's submission attempts, hold the R2 button and push up with the right stick. To perform an advanced transition, hold the L1 button and swoop the right stick left or right. right to, half guard. to keep your opponent from standing up, hold the R2 button and push down with the right stick to keep the fight on the ground. Scramble. Stamina plays a huge role in every stage of a fight, and a tired athlete will always be less successful when it comes to transition defense and reversals. Welcome to EA Sports UFC striking tutorial. Let's focus on offense. Striking is mapped to the four face buttons on your controller. Two of them control your arms. The other two control your legs. It's pretty simple. 
Modify these four face buttons to tap into all the tools a UFC fighter would use in the octagon. To modify your strikes, you can do one of the following, or combinations of the following while striking. Pushing the left stick towards or away from your opponent, or holding the L1 or R1 buttons. Holding the L2 button will also turn all strikes into body attacks. For example, punching while holding the R1 button and pushing the left stick forward will turn your strike into a Superman punch. Holding the L1 button and pushing the left stick away from your opponent while kicking will perform a spinning back kick. Keep in mind, specific strikes will vary from fighter to fighter. Keep an eye on your stamina meter and try not to gas yourself out throwing too many consecutive strikes. If you knock your opponent down with a big blow, moving forward and pressing either punch button will take you in for the attack and let you keep dishing out punishment on the ground. Remember, different fighters have different movesets, so mess around with the modifiers and find the combos that work best for you. You'll be knocking people out in no time. Welcome to EA Sports UFC Striking Tutorial. Let's focus on defense. You can block an opponent's attacks by holding the R2 button for a basic block. The basic block will protect the entire body, but will not absorb 100% of the damage. It will also become less effective if a fighter just continually holds the R2 button. Stamina will also regenerate slower when holding a basic block. A more effective block is a strong block. To strong block high strikes, hold the R2 button and press either punch button. To strong block low strikes, hold the R2 button and press either kick button. Strong blocks provide 100% protection when blocking in the right zone. If timed correctly, the fighter can also perform a parry, leaving the opponent vulnerable to counter strikes. If you just want to get out of the way, just flick the left stick in any direction to evade strikes using footwork. You can also harness your inner Anderson Silva by holding the L2 button and flicking the left stick, allowing you to slip your opponent's strikes. Welcome to EA Sports UFC's submission tutorial. Let's focus on offense. When on the ground, you can initiate submissions from both the top and bottom positions. Hold the R1 button and push the right stick left, right, up, or down to initiate different submissions. Once a direction and a submission are chosen, swoop the right stick in either direction to lock it in. Watch your stamina meter when you attempt a submission, as it will affect how hard or easy it is to finish the fight. When the submission begins, you'll see four gates appear on the screen. Your opponent will try to escape by moving their right stick in any direction until the icon reaches the end of one of these gates. When you see this happening, counter by pushing your own right stick in the same direction to match their escape attempt. Keep up and try to match them each time they change directions. Hold off your opponent's escape for long enough and a prompt will appear over one of the gates telling you to flick your left stick in that direction. Once you do, you move on to the next stage of the submission. When you advance a submission, notice that your opponent's gates all reset. Progress through the different stages, watch your submission tighten more each time, and score the finish. Welcome to EA Sports UFC submission tutorial. Let's focus on defense. You can block your opponent from even getting their submission started by holding the R2 button and pushing the right stick up. If you fail the block and they manage to initiate a submission attempt, you'll see four gates appear around your fighters on the screen. Try escaping the submission by using your right stick to reach the end of any of these gates. Your opponent will be trying to counter you by watching which gate you're moving through and matching that movement with their own right stick. So change directions often to keep them guessing. Reach the end of any gate and you'll escape the submission attempt. Fail to and your opponent will move on to the next stage of their submission and you'll have to start again. Stamina always plays a role in the fight and the lower your stamina, the tougher it will be for you to push those gates out and escape the submission. Welcome to EA Sports UFC's Takedowns tutorial. Let's focus on offense. Takedowns are performed by using a combination of the L1 button, the L2 button, and the right stick. To attempt a takedown, hold the L2 button while pushing the right stick towards or away from the opponent. Finish the takedown by swooping the right stick counterclockwise or clockwise, respectively. Turn a takedown into a power takedown by performing the exact same sequence while also holding the L1 button. If you want to stand back up following a takedown, just press the left stick to try and get to your feet. Welcome to EA Sports UFC's Takedowns tutorial. Let's focus on defense. If you're looking to keep the fight standing, when your opponent comes in for a takedown, hold the R2 button and press down on the right stick to stuff their attempt and stop the fight from going to the ground. 
If they do succeed, click the left stick to try and get back up to your feet.